Hey everybody, it's Blue KQ here again with another video. This battle was a ton of fun. Looks like we're starting out at a disadvantage. We've got one destroyer and the enemy team has two destroyers. I'm in my curve first and of course this is a tier 10 battle on the map Haven. Our destroyer gets uh, out in front of the team. He's going to go try to cap. Yes, that's part of his job, but he's out there a little early and a little extended. He gets spotted, he gets focused by the enemy team, and then by the carrier. And at two and a half minutes into the match, we lose our only kind of scouting uh, ship. Of course, we still have a carrier who can help us with eyes in the sky. But now we're at a significant disadvantage. We have zero destroyers. The enemy team has two. And we've got an uphill battle to climb. Because our destroyer was the only one capping C, you know, we no longer have that. The enemy team is already capping B, so it's not looking good, but it's still early in the match. Let's see what we can make out of this. I'm trying to take some early shots at broadside cruisers. It's, you know, moderately effective. I think I missed with all of those shots in that particular time, but, you know, as we uh, continue, uh, our, our team is, is playing defense here in our base, and I'm continuing to head out to what I think is going to be the main brunt of the enemy push out on that western flank. Just taking a look around, where, where can I see some targets of opportunity? Maybe we can get rid of some of these ships early. I don't know. Uh, you know, we're at range. There's islands in the way, but you know, some damage is better than no damage. Managed to take what 4,400 off that Otago. Uh, again, way out in the distance, and still working my way to where I think the the main part of the battle is going to be. But might as well take those shots when I have them. Still not much to shoot at, so we'll shoot at this angled battleship. You know, hide, trying to hide over there behind that island. And we'll see uh, as this battle progresses if uh, more targets of opportunity show themselves uh, again on my transit over. So a destroyer over there. There's another cruiser over there. Can't see him. Could probably put shots on him, but I, I can't see him to aim well enough. So we'll, we'll keep just moving and seeing what we see. There's this Kerr first here. Looks like he's going to turn broadside. Nothing else really available uh, as far as better shots. So I'm going to take a look at, and see what we can do on on uh, this Kerr first. That Otago looks like it'd be a good place to shoot, but you know, lots of rounds already headed in for him. So I'm going to wait. Yeah, somebody else got him. So let's focus again on this Kerr first. The island that's in our way uh, to him right now is about to go away, and we'll see if we can put some rounds down on this curve first as he's coming over to where we want to be and presenting a nice flat broadside to me. Those shots are good. Looks like it's going to hurt a little bit. And sure enough, 20k Confirmed penetration. off the side of that curve first. Okay, it looks like most of my team slowed down. They're not pushing out to the west. Enemy team has a few ships out here, a couple over by the border. That curve first coming out, and North Carolina even further away. I'm trying to take, you know, make my shots count. When I only get a shoot every, you know, almost 30 seconds, I want to make sure those are worthwhile shots I'm not wasting them if, unless uh, you know it's really the only shot available to me is not a good one then I might take that one but I'm trying to make these shots count curve first is again turning a broadside I'm gonna see if we can put more damage on him as he's presenting a nice flat side to me now the turpits that we had pushing up in there um, into C just just was sunk and that spotter plane man drives me crazy when it zooms all the way out to the edge of the map and I gotta try to come back happened several times this match but you know the Hindenburg there again he's more broad than the Kurt first 
put the front two guns on him, see if I can't do some damage on the uh, North Carolina with my back two guns. Those are back two guns. That, that shot's kind of a bonus shot, right? I'm not going to turn my ship broad to the Kerfer so I can get all my guns on the Hindenburg. So I might as well take the opportunity to shoot at two targets if I can. I hit the Hindenburg. Didn't do a whole lot of damage. We're already up to 73k in this particular map, so or in this particular match, so we're doing okay uh, damage-wise. But again, we've lost twice as many ships as they have. They still have a destroyer, and they still have plenty of ships, and are significantly ahead in the point lead. I was thinking about waiting to shoot at that North Carolina until after he ran aground, but I wasn't sure he was going to, so I wanted to get that shot off and was rewarded with a nice citadel and a bunch damaged. of damage, another 20k. Lots of things to shoot at out here. Front gun's about to come online. I'm gonna shoot at this Hindenburg again. Uh, being patient, trying to see exactly what he's doing, how fast is he moving. I'm trying to stay angled to the, the, the ship that could really hurt me out here. Uh, that curve first on the border, I, I'm not paying attention to him, so I wanna make sure he doesn't accidentally hit me and, and hurt me. A nice shot on the Kerfurst again, or on, excuse me, on the Hindenburg again. Didn't do as much damage as I was expecting with four overpins. Secondary start lighting off on him. And now I'm going to start angling. There's another Kerfurst behind that Hindenburg. I don't want him to have a nice angle on me. So I'm going to try to point my nose in between the two Kerfursts so that both their shots are, are not great shots. A little less worried about this Hindenburg. And then sure enough, here comes their Lexington. So uh, I think about shooting at the Lexington, but I want to get rid of the Hindenburg first. He's more of a threat to me. That time I do get a nice salvo on him. And then uh, the Otago finishes him off for me. You saw me bouncing shells from that other Kerr first. That's off on my left. I'm still worried about him out there, but you know I'm not going to pass up the opportunity to shoot at this Lexington. He's close and lightly armored and you know basically parked. So take that full broadside. I'm looking out there to see where that other Kerfurst went. I didn't notice in chat that he actually already died. To a nice huge salvo on that. Lexington left him with like 700 health for somebody to get, but I wasn't turning. And so that Kerfurst put a nice Citadel shot into me. Okay, take a quick look around who's out there. Still looking for that Kerfurst because I thought he was still out there. And I notice, hey, he's not being spotted, and there's a plane out there, so he's gone. Now that I don't have to worry about my left flank, I'll go ahead and focus on all the ships off on my right. Take a speculative shot over to the North Carolina, just because I could. I uh, didn't really expect much out of that, and I didn't get much. So I'm taking a look. We've almost evened up the ship odds. We've almost evened up the points. We still have our D point, but uh, the enemy team controls the other three points. And, and although we're capping one of them to stop their point gain, it's still theirs. I'm pushing in. I know in that smoke is a Minotaur, so I'm a little... Uh, Worried about getting out too far in front, uh, and, and uh, you know, taking these torpedoes that he may send out at me. As I get closer, uh, I'm thinking, you know, what tools do I have available? My airplanes are on cooldown. He is sitting in smoke, but I, I do have my hydroacoustic search, and so as I get close enough to him to where I can actually shoot past the rock and hit him, I'm going to fire up that hydroacoustic search, try to identify any torpedoes coming in early, and see if I can see the Minotaur. The Kerfer's coming back out, got my front guns on him, um, looking, trying to line up a good shot. Uh, he's angled at a, at a manner that isn't great for me. I turn so I can at least put more guns on him. It's, uh, the toggle behind me sends torpedoes, uh, so I'm giving him a little bit of space, but I want to start turning back in so that that Kerfer's can't get another broadside shot on me. So I get turning in, I get my hydroacoustic search up to see if there's any torpedoes coming out of the smoke from the Minotaur. He's sitting nose onto me, but now we can see him and that's gonna make him react. He sees me coming now because the Kerfurst is around the smoke and can spot me. 
So I put s some good shots into his nose armor. We got torpedoes going by from our uh, friendly team. So I know there's torpedoes about to come from the Minotaur right now. I'm trying to get rid of him. And I'm turning, trying to avoid those torpedoes, but I, I wasn't turning early enough. And I opened myself up to the broadside shot from the Kerfers. And sure enough, he makes me pay for it. But as I take these torpedoes, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to put the kill shots into him. So there's the high caliber and Confederate in a matter of moments, sinking both those ships. And now I take a look around. Who is left out there that's still a threat to me? That Chapiev can set me on fire. He's going to certainly be a priority because I've just used my repair from the uh, three torpedoes I took from the Minotaur. Secondaries are lighting up on uh, the North Carolina. North Carolina is actually focused on uh, the ships in front. The Yamato is right in front of him, and he managed to kill him. I'm not spotted, so the Chapiev is using his radar so that he can see where I'm at. I don't know, for whatever reason, I had a, a difficult time trying to shoot this guy. I think I put five half salvos out on him, trying to trying to kill him. And either RNG or poor aim or nice dodging on his part, whatever it happened to be, he managed to make the most of this uh, uh, engagement here. Using this island for cover, trying to protect his side, but he got a little close and now he can't shoot over it. I essentially have some free shots on this guy, but I don't, uh, I don't, for whatever reason, just doesn't work to make him pay. A stupid spotter plane zooming all the way out again. It looks like he's going to come forward a little bit, so I aim right in front of him, and you know the two shots that that make it over the island land on on the other side of him. Okay. Using my heal again, was nearly dead. Trying to put shots over the island to get rid of this Chapiev so that I can turn. Finally get him. As I look to start turning back towards the map so I don't run off into the corner, see the North Carolina. He's showing side to me as he's focused on the Otago out in front of him. He's on fire, so I know he's working on dying. I'm thinking a couple of shots, I ought, ought to finish him off, and I hit him, but with one shell that gets deflected, that stupid spotter plane zooming all the way out again, those shots I just shot over him because he's turning in a little bit, and now the Otago is working on trying to finish him off. Uh, he's got a nice broadside to me, he's got to turn uh, to clear that island again, so I'm hoping, hoping, crossing my fingers, right, that those shots can actually finish him off. Got him with the, the, the citadel, the little tiny citadel to finish him off. Okay, so now, again, they're way ahead in points. 821 points. We've got less than five minutes left. We're going to speed this up a little bit because this, this ends up being a three-minute transit across the map. I capture A uh, uh, in my uh, travels across. The... Uh, the friendly ship right here, this Bismarck, is going to turn back and try to defend D, which is where we know the enemy Kerfirst is because he's capping, and now he's spotted. I'm going to take some speculative shots through the gap in the island. Don't get much. I'm sure I miss him that, that particular time. He knows that the Otago's there, and the Bismarcks can now shoot at him over that, so he turns and works his way back, and... My huge tier 10 battleship guns sound like cap guns as we're in fast motion. And then we'll slow it down again about right here. And now the chase, the rest of the chase is on. Right? He's fairly broadside to me. Uh, he's focused on the other ships. He's got that Bismarck and the Otago coming at him from the uh, C cap or B cap, I mean. And then. Um, since he's focused on them, uh, I take this opportunity to uh, take some shots at him, basically free shots. Uh, I'm transiting across the, uh, you know, right now we've got all of their points stopped at 949. He's starting to cap that D point, so I want to just shoot at him when I can 
to uh, reset that cap point so he doesn't start earning points uh, off that decap. We, we can't afford that right now. We're down to a minute, 21 seconds. It's getting close. 811 points and 949. Again, he's not earning any new points because we're stopping the cap um, in, the, in the C and we just finished capping B. So we paused his ability. He's on fire. Last ship round. Looks like we'll be able to finish this off. But it's coming down to the wire. It's less than a minute left now. Those shots, while they look good, don't end up doing much damage. And now he's decided he wants to shoot at me. Well, it's a little late for that, buddy. I start slowing down because I want my last shot to be able to clear in front of this island. And I'm worried that it's not going to be able to get the plane up to get a nice clear view. He's put the fires out now. I try to try to put those shots out, and sure enough, I hit the island. So it's up to my teammates to finish him off because right now there's 24 seconds left, and he's got 500 health, looks like he's on fire, and sure enough, we pull out this victory. Taking a look at the final results screen it was, of course, a victory for us. 6,700 XP, 278,899 uh, damage out of 98 hits. If I'd killed that Kerpers, would have had a crack in that match. Turns out I was top on the team with 2,886 base XP. It was a good battle. Our, our team did very well in a hard-fought match. On the detailed results screen, I scrolled off a little bit because two of the ships I killed, they didn't uh, have as much damage as these other ones. So, um, the Kerr first, 50,500 damage, 49,000 on the Lexington, 47,000 on the Hindenburg, and 31,000 on the Kerr first at the end. I hope you guys liked that replay. Be sure to hit the like button if you did. Subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us at Twitter, Gaming with Blue KQ. And if you want to see live gameplay and come interact with us while we're playing, uh, feel free to swing by twitch.tv forward slash blue underscore kq and uh, i always post when i'm going live on twitter there as well hope you guys have a good night thanks mm -hmm.